Short term rentals have been a hot button issue for months here in the low country, and we are starting to see how a cap on rentals is impacting real estate on Folly Beach. News 2 Sophia Radabaugh spoke to a real estate agent who frequently works on Folly and shares what she's seen happen. Back in January, homeowners on Folly Beach voted to put a cap on the number of short term rentals allowed on Folly. And now some real estate agents are saying they're seeing a significant impact on the number of home sales. In 2022, 75 properties were sold on Folly Beach, but this year that number has plummeted. We have actually seen a 70% decrease in closed sales. Real estate agent Mickey Ramey blames the decrease on the short term rental cap. Has short term rental caps impacted real estate? It definitely has. There's no denying that it has made an impact. Only 800 short term rentals are allowed on Folly right now. Ramey says the cap pushes away many buyers who are in the market for an investment property. Ramey says property values have also decreased by 40%. Bigger picture, Ramey says the camp could have an economic impact for years to come. It may impact local business on Folly Beach. There will still be plenty of vacationers there, but it might have some impact on local business too. And over on Isla Palms, the city is gearing up to take a vote on a short-term rental cap as well. But looking at what has happened to the Folly Beach real estate market, some city council members are concerned. I mean, obviously we don't know what's going to happen if this um, referendum passes. Uh, the best guess that we have is the the same thing will happen here that happened at Folly Beach. Council members say Isla Palms has a lot of amenities, like one of the top police and fire stations in the area, a rec center, and a pristine beachfront. And most of that is paid for by tourists renting homes. They say putting a cap on rentals would create tax hikes for residents. 95% of Isla Palms' annual budget is paid for by vacation rentals. Only 5% is paid for uh, by permanent residents. Isla Palms will vote on this issue November 7th. On Folly Beach, Sophia Radabaugh, Count on Two. The South Carolina